Good morning, folks. We're doing a review today of a <clears throat> Quantum Edge 3 power chair with about 13 miles. It has electric tilt, electric recline, and electric feet. Good afternoon, folks. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We have a beautiful Quantum Edge 3 power chair with electric tilt, electric recline, and the electric feet. Three different functions. This power chair only has 14 miles. It's literally brand new, beautiful burgundy red with a nice cushion with a red stripe on the cushion itself. So the first thing we're going to do before we cover how the chair works is look at the seating system. If you want the seat to tilt back or recline or, le or the legs to go out, you do it through the joystick. So you would go here to the button on the left that you turned it on originally and you would keep going forward until you see a picture of the seat in your screen. So I'm going to keep going forward. And now I see a picture of the seat. You would want the bottom cushion right here and the back cushion, these two cushions to be yellow on your screen. If they're not yellow, that's for the tilt. Just move this, the joystick sideways and change the colors, okay? So if they're both yellow, <clears throat> the only thing you have to do now is push this back and you'll see the seat starting to tilt back. Of course, when it tilts back, it's gonna take the legs in the back because they're all connected together, okay? The nice thing about this is it's nice medical benefit. You can reduce the pressure of your bottom, pressure of your back. You can just sit there and relax or have circulation in your legs. So this is as far back as it will go for tilting. The next one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move the joystick sideways so the bottom, the feet are yellow by themselves. Okay, feet are yellow. I'm gonna use this. And now you'll see the legs go up. So if you want a really good circulation, you have to have your legs higher than your body. Well, folks, <clears throat> Look at this right here folks. Now, this is all adjustable. So if you're five feet tall, six foot two, we can make these foot plate go in and out. We can adjust the seat size. We can do all that. So look at this. That would be a little extreme, but I wanted to show you how you can get your feet higher than your body. So I'm going to go back to yellow bottom, yellow back, and I'm going to bring the tilt back down <clears throat> halfway just to show you, even if you're halfway tilted, even here, your feet would still be higher than your body, okay? So we've done the tilt, we've done the legs. I'm gonna leave the legs out. <clears throat> We're gonna do the back right now. So I'm gonna go on the screen. I'm gonna go until I see the back is yellow. Here it is. <clears throat> you can see the back moving. Nothing else is moving, just the back going back by itself, okay? This is called electric recline. There we go. And let's see how far it'll go. That's it. So this is as far as the seat will go back. You can see it's a really nice recline seat. We're gonna bring the recline. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring the recline back up and the legs down at the same time. So if you put the legs and the back yellow, they both will work together to save time. Now I'm gonna bring the legs in all the way Because if you're in the house, I want to show you that I'm going to put it back in drive, drive, drive fast. So if you're in the house, this is what your turning radius would look like. So if you're going to turn this chair in the house, look how quiet this is. <clears throat> Let's look at the base on this chair too, <clears throat> before we go any further. So <clears throat> this is a mid-wheel drive. What that means is your drive wheel's in the middle, that's the big wheel. You're always going to have a caster wheel on the ground in front and always a caster wheel, I'm going to try to turn it, on the ground in the back. That keeps your suspension and it helps you get that beautiful zero turn radius, okay? This chair, the motor's right here for this side. There's two motors. There's one here, one on the other side. This motor is directly connected to the wheel. There's no chain, no bell. It's all direct drive. Less problem, no maintenance, okay? You have an anchor point here and here. So there's two anchor points on each side. So you have four of these. This is where you would secure your chair if you're going to transport it, okay? If you look at the front of the chair, you might be able to see it from there. You can see this black suspension right here. It's for this fork right here. You have the same suspension on the other side, and you have the same suspension in the back. So if you look at that suspension right here, this, is, this fork is separate from that fork. If I raise this one, if I can do it, you can see the other one stays on the ground, okay? That's a heavy chair. 
The chair does weigh close to 375 pounds, so it's not a light chair. Let's look at the seat. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to bring the legs out a little bit more because if you're going to be outside, you're going to want to have the legs roughly like this when you're outside, okay? The seat is 20 by 20, so it's a large seat, as you can see. It's 20 by 20. You have lateral pads. What that means, these pads right here, let me see if I can pull one out. You can see how long they are, and you can see all this can move over here, and it can also move here. So I can have it go anywhere here, or I can have that pad all the way up to here if I flip this around, all the way up to here. These are super nice, and this pad, um, I'm going to lock it, keeps your knees together so your feet stay on the foot plate. So with these pads, it keeps your knees on the foot plate. You have a safety belt. You have <clears throat> a swing away joystick, so if you get to a dining table, you can swing the joystick to the side so you don't hit the joystick when you get to the dining table and you can get a lot closer to a dining table instead of having that joystick all the way over here, okay? You can see how wide the back is. This seat right here is foam and the back part is, is gel. So your, the whole back part is gel and this part is foam. The top of the seat is 23 inches. So from the ground to the top of the seat on this one, because it has a real thick five inch cushion, is 23 inches. The headrest on this chair is fully adjustable. You can see all the adjustments here and here. And the headrest is also, this is a custom headrest. What that means is this headrest, folks, you can see right here, there's a silver knob right here. What that means, <clears throat> you can adjust this headrest and you can bring it, well, let me do it this way. <clears throat> you can bring the headrest in like this and squeeze someone's head by adjusting. The, this is a custom headrest, so it's a real expensive headrest, fully adjustable. All right, folks, it does have headlights and taillights. You can't see it right now because I don't have the, there's a little button that fits here. We just tap it and it turns the headlights and the taillight. There is headlights and taillights, LED lights on the front. LED light in the back on the fender on both sides. I just don't have the micro switch on here yet. It was never installed. That's probably why the person did not need it, but we have it here. We'll just run a little micro switch to here to here and we'll be able to turn the light on just by tapping right here on the little switch and you'll have headlights and taillight because it's already equipped with that over here. These are solid tires. They're not going to mark your floor. Very nice to know. Uh, when you charge the batteries in this chair, <clears throat> you'll take your quantum charger like this one and you'll plug it right below the joystick and as soon as the light on here goes to orange to green green usually means it's full or almost full um, your batteries are going to be <clears throat> the batteries are full the charger will stop charging when the batteries are full the charger will stop okay so let's do a quick recap we have a quantum edge 3 which is the latest in technology uh, in the power chair from Pride Mobility, one of the largest manufacturer of power chair in the United States. They're in eight countries in the, in the world. <clears throat> this chair has electric tilt, electric recline, electric feet. It has 14 miles on this power chair. It has the lateral knee pad. It has the 20 by 20 seat. It has a safety belt, the flip up arm, the swing away joystick, the solid tires, the headlights, the tail lights. The anchor point, the suspension we talked about, the adjustable custom headrest, the safety belt. It has everything but the seat lift. It has, it has electric tilt recline and everything. So we'd like to keep this chair the way it's set up. It's set up right now for a medium to large person. But if this is the chair you want and the seat is too big, we can make it smaller. We can change, we can change these cushions right here. They come right off of here. They're on Velcro. You can see how my hand goes under there. So, but this is a super, super comfortable cushion. It's a five inch deluxe cushion. So this is a really nice one, 14 miles, like new, <clears throat> ready to go. So this is the Quantum Edge 3 power chair, the one made by Pride Mobility. Top speed is 6.2, 6.3 miles an hour. You can see how well it drives. And watch, when I stop, it'll brake automatically. Notice how it breaks. It's got built-in brakes in the motors. Now I'm on the fast speed. The top speed is 6.2 miles an hour, but if I just push the joystick forward a little bit, 
I'm barely moving. So you can use the joist as a gas pedal or you can reduce the speed over here. We'll take it a little bit in the grass. It should have no problem in the grass. It doesn't even slow down in the grass. Remember, if you're going to take it in the grass, uh, just make sure that the bottom is hard, meaning if it's wet or uh, sandy, your wheels might spin. But if it's dry, it doesn't matter how high the grass is and you have a good bottom, you should have no problem at all. So this one has electric tilt, electric recline, electric leg. It has 14 miles. It has the deluxe headrest the lateral knee pad, the nice cushy five inch thick cushion with gel in it. It has the solid tire, the suspension we talked about. It has the lights. We, we, we will put the little switch for the lights on it. It has the swing away joystick like we talked about earlier. This is made by Pride Mobility. This is a high, high end power chair. So if you're looking for comfort and speed, comfort, this is, the, this is another good one. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.